let's discuss about Horn sentence. So any uh, atomic sentence is a Horn sentence, and Horn sentence is also called as Horn clause. Now, if we have a, a sentence like Socrates is a man, we will represent it like this: Socrates is a man. So this is about a single entity. So it's going to be a atomic sentence. Therefore, it's going to be a Horn sentence. Now, there is another thing that we need to add in this definition of Horn sentence or the sentences that fall in the category of Horn sentence is that of conjunction uh, of atomic sentences on the left and a single atom on the right or a single atomic sentence on the right. This is how we're going to have it. So A will be a sentence, B will be a sentence, and uh, it's all the way up to X, and uh, it implies something, and all of them are atomic sentences. Then the other thing that we need to add in this is that they are not going to have existential quantifiers. So these are without existential quantifiers. Now, if we want to convert, you know, a sentence which is of the form of, for example, there exists at least one y such that, uh, you know, you have to replace it with y here. I have written x, so it's basically y. So here I have done a mistake already. So it means there exists at least one y such that y is a man. Now, if we have to, you know, um, make it into a horn sentence, then we can substitute a scolum constant, which we discussed already in the existential elimination, then it will become an atomic sentence, which is uh, Socrates is a man. We substitute Socrates for Y, and it became this, which is an atomic sentence and is a horn sentence. So scolumization constant uh, helps us in eliminating the existential quantifier and therefore it becomes a horn sentence. So another thing is that if our uh, scolumization constant or scolum constant failed, then how can we uh, you know, eliminate this uh, existential quantifier? It's done by scolumization function. You know, we, you, we write a sort of algorithm or a function that helps us in uh, removing uh, existential quantifier so it's just like a magic you know we write that kind of a function or algorithm and it's all able to remove this so for example over here uh, there is this universal quantifier it's fine because uh, we know by the definition of a horn clause we have to uh, remove existential quantifier so it's a sentence or a conjunction of sentences uh, where we do not have an existential quantifier for example here if we try to substitute something uh, like uh, you know any constant and if we fail then uh, sco scolumization function comes into picture so pd over here pdx is a scolumization function and it will help us in eliminating existential uh, quantifier and this becomes a horn sentence. Now, if we have this as a conjunction of two sentences, we can also represent it separately. For example, prime p will be rep represented separately, x uh, divides p, that will be represented separately. So this is the separate. Uh, things also are horn sentences. So any atomic sentence is a horn sentence. Now, what's a substitution? Substitution is something that we have already done, but the only thing here is that we have to represent it in some sort of a, you know, uh, syntax. So substitutions replace variables with constants. For example, if I have to represent, I have a function, uh, you know, here, I have something as x is a perfect square, x is a perfect square. Square. And I rep I replace x with you know 49. Then it becomes 49 is a perfect square. 
So all this could be uh, whatever steps we uh, took in replacing uh, X with 49 is you know represented in the form of uh, a syntax, a specific kind of a syntax where substitute means that we have substitute uh, we have substituted 49 for X and this eventually became perfect square 49. So this is what substitution is all about. Then if we uh, try to replace x with 49 and y with 7 in this, uh, you know, here in place of x and y, this becomes uh, divide 49 by 7. So 7 is uh, divided by 49 or whatever it, it represents, whether it's divisible or division or whatever it is. Now, unification is another form of substitution, but here we are in search of a specific kind of substitution that helps us in uh, making uh, two uh, atomic sentences identical. So if I have a sentence where seven is a prime number and there is another sentence, which is X is a prime number, now I, I replace X with seven. So this also becomes prime seven. So these two become identical, prime seven. So here we have two things, divide, 49 and x divide y by 7. Now, if we uh, try to replace y with y with 49 and x with 7, both of them will yield the same result. For example, 49 by 7 means the same as here, which is again 49 by 7. So this is how this is done. Now if we have another example, let me erase this. Suppose we have another example. Here we have a single kind of variable x and if we try to substitute something here, it's not possible in any case where I will get uh, both of them as uh, both of them will yield as a same result so it's not possible that both of these will yield a same result so that's about unification so that was all for today thanks and have a nice day